Glenn Beck is going to make the case for net neutrality here as he argues for the opposite policy. So he's really confused, and this is stunning ignorance. Let's watch. Let me tell you about net neutrality. Net neutrality um, is a is the global warming of the internet. They are saying that um, they need to level the playing field of the internet and make it free. Let me tell you something. If it wasn't for the freedom of the internet, this world and this country would be screwed right now. Um, the only real growth that we have in the world, and you'll you're seeing it in television and news and information. The only place you're truly free to say whatever you want, to produce whatever you want, to get it out. Man has never had a voice like he has right now, and it's all due to the Internet and due to the fact that the government is not involved in it at all. It's working pretty well. Do I dislike buffering speeds? Yes. Am I a company that should be on the other side? Probably. And here's why. These giant corporations like Comcast and Google and all these other companies, all they have to do if they want to shut people like me down is they choke down my, my, uh, my speeds. They choke down. If you, if you, if, because I'm a, a video provider, if they want to put me out of business, they just choke down and make it impossible to watch. Last night I was at home. I was trying to watch uh, something. I was trying to watch Studio C with the kids. And we watch it online. We just don't watch TV anymore. So we were watching it online. And I was on Roku. And the speed was really low yesterday for some reason. And, it, I mean, it just kept stopping and then starting and then stopping and then starting and then buffering and then stop. And I was like, okay, and enough. I'm just not going to watch it tonight. We'll watch something else. We did something else. That's exactly how these giant Internet providers can put people like me out of business. I don't want to go out of business. So shouldn't I be saying yes? government because i'm somebody who's going to be targeted i know it shouldn't shouldn't i be saying yes government please protect me oh protect me no because the government is only going to protect those who are playing ball with the government and the one question i would ask these people and and the president among the rest is why why are you doing this? Because he keeps saying he w he wants it free and accessible. It already is. It can't get any more free, and it can't get any more accessible than it is right It's like saying that I want chocolate to remain delicious and accept accessible. It already is. The rules that Obama is in favor of would keep the Internet exactly the same as it is right now. If the head of the FCC and the ISPs get their way, then it wouldn't be the same. Then what you would have is the ISPs get to regulate uh, which sites can go into the fast lanes, which ones are they going to slow up, which ones are they going to give very limited access to, and of course what's going to happen is you're going to open up the door to forms of bribery, where ISPs will say, oh, you want people to be able to access your site fast? Well, if you pay me 500 bucks a month, maybe we can accommodate. But if not, mm, sorry, if it slows up, that's on you. So what President Obama wants to do, at least according to his statements, is he said, we want to write rules to define the Internet as a public utility. So it has to be totally free, totally fair, totally open, just like it is right now. So Obama and the Democrats are on the side of hey, keep the internet exactly as it is right now and write that into rules, write that into FCC rules so this can't get changed. And it's the ISPs and the conservatives who are on the opposite side, where they pretend like they're in favor of freedom, but what they're in favor of is allowing the ISPs to pick and choose who they want to give uh, fast speed to and slow speed to, so they have it exactly backwards. They're arguing in favor of the concept that Obama wants and the Democrats want, but then they say... That's why I oppose the FCC uh, d uh, defining this as a public utility. Glenn, do some research. No, but see, it's a story like this that leads me to the conclusion that what I've been saying about Glenn Beck all along is undeniable at this point. I always said about the conservative uh, talk show hosts, bar Bill O'Reilly. 
but the rest of them. So uh, Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, <laughs> Michael Savage, Glenn Beck. I, I know how they do their show. You could tell what they do to prepare for their show as you watch their shows. What they do is they'll read a headline, they'll read a few lines in whatever article, and then they'll take that story and they'll come out and they'll talk about the limited inf information they know, they'll define that as the whole story, and then they'll just riff about how Democrats and Obama are the worst. That's how they do, that's how they do their show prep, that's how they do their shows. I know it. I know it because I'm in the business. I know what it takes to really prepare for a story. I know what it takes to really get your information right and to really present it. They don't do that. They don't, I don't know what. Is it because they're lazy? Maybe. Is it because they just don't care and this isn't their passion? So they're just like, whatever, let me fill the airtime? Maybe. I don't know why that is the case, but I know that's the case. And this is the perfect example because they're arguing for the concept that is correct. Hey, keep the internet exactly like it is right now. Keep it. Uh, free and fair and open, just like it is right now. If you go to one site, it should be the same speed as when you go to another site. They're arguing for that, but then they support the policy that would crush that. God, they're so stupid. And to be clear, I don't think, I honestly don't think that they're doing this because uh, they, they're they corrupt or they have some sort of a financial incentive to mislead people to go in the opposite direction here. I genuinely think that they're taking this position because they don't know the details of the story. They don't know anything about net neutrality. They don't know what each side means. So they argue for the concept that to them makes sense, which is right, the idea that the internet should stay the same, but then they advocate for the opposite policy. There's... Every day, every day, every day, every day I get stunned. I'm consistently, perpetually amazed by how stupid these people are.